Hello, 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 and welcome back to Yoke's Cast Complete Pack. Yes, I got a new server. Oh, how good that feels. And what a drama it was to get this beast installed. But, got a new server, 8 gig of RAM, unlimited disk space, I can't even talk, disk space. So, it should run a lot smoother. So, and people can start joining now. Um, I migrated everything over from the old server, so everything is where we left off. And um, some glitches and bugs need to be still ironed out, but we'll get to them when we see them. So, let's head on in. Last time we did that dungeon thingy majiggy, and I chucked it all into... Uh. Cow out there, Bessie. Into random junk. So, let's check what we got. We got nether quartz, which is cool, we need that. A division sigil. <coughs> yeah, no water. Something with blood ritual. A logic matrix programmer. A mundane power catalyst. A tier. A standard binding. And we got a couple of things. So, um, my plan is because this whole storage system sucks. Excuse my language. My plan is to go to get the ME system mm. but it's a long way you can see I already lined up a couple of materials it's a long way there so what we need to do first is an igneous extruder an igneous extruder you might have seen in my agrarian sky blocks <coughs> why does it say tin Oh, I need some tin yeah no problem uh, agrarian sky blocks the thing um, produces either cobblestone or obsidian and I do need obsidian for the ME or for machines that will eventually do the ME um, system which is like a way more efficient computer powered system the quarry didn't spit out all that much it's done it went on to bedrock it just whoa, that was a bit of a lag again but I think it has to do with my end of the system here it didn't spit out all that much I already ended up like smelting down a lot of stuff and put them into blocks. We got some osmium, uh, as you see, I have old and gold and steel, um, some lapis, some redstone, um, enriched alloy. Ah, uh, that was probably Diedrich. Yeah. <laughs> He's been playing around here too. So, yeah, enriched alloy. Don't need that yet, but um, at some point, maybe. So, oh. Igneous Extruder. Let's get started on that one. We'll do a lot of crafting today. So Ignis Extruder needs glass, gold, and steel. We can do that. Let's do the steel down there. So we got some glass. I kind of prepared a little bit of s already. Um, now again, I did it wrong. Machine frame. Boom. We only need one. I forgot that he can... For those of you who are confused about what was going on there, um, let me show you again. This is the recipe oh. for the... Uh, pneumatic servo. You have to shift uh, the question mark here. If you click on it, it will show you ghosted out the recipe. But if you shift click on it and you do have the materials in your inventory, it will line it up in there for you. Makes it a lot easier to craft stuff. So, tin. We need a tin. We should have uh, tin. Tin, 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 tin. Osmium, Moonstone, Iron. I didn't smell any tin yet. But I should have tin. There we got five tin ore. Let's chuck them in here. And get a couple of tin ore out of it. This is one of the glitches I need to do something about it. But I've seen that in other mod packs as well. That the tank and the lava, you see when I move around, it glitches around a little bit. I think it has to do with the texture pack even maybe. Not sure. Okay, um, we need to make a piston as well, I saw. Let's see if I remember how to make a piston. Uh, wood, wood. No, already wrong. I always mix that up. So, wasn't it like this? Let's see if I do remember. And then a redstone and an iron. Yes, it's a piston. The standard vanilla things, I always forget. Uh, then we have glass, glass, machine frame, and then all we need is the tin. We can already assemble the bits we got. Glass, glass, and the piston. And I need to make a diamond pickaxe because we need to put that in there as well. And then we need to get some lava. One, two, three. Some lava and some water. 
<clears throat> yeah, some of you might be wondering why that is random block is uh, instead of a crafting bench. It's due to the quarry has that circular system I explained last time down here, and if there was a crafting bench, the material was going into the crafting bench, which kind of annoyed me. So I'll just do another one of these ones here. I do like these ones. So I need to get working on my farm as well. I want to make a farm. This this time around, I'm going to take my time with stuff. There's so many mods. I don't think this series is going to be as short as my other late series. This is this. Um, <coughs> B team is still going on. Don't worry about it. Um, I paused it for a while because I just wanted to get started on this one here. But I'm going to mm. finish off B team properly as it was supposed to be. The one before that, Survivor Series Twist 3, it just got interrupted by B team. All the mods got updated and so on. So it just got interrupted. Uh, this one here is probably going to go on for a while. So my plan is to not only have them in a pen here. I'm going to empty out this whole area, flatten it out, and I build some farm buildings for all the different animals to get them further away as well because this mooing is kind of annoying me. Um, get them further away and then get automated systems in place. You know, automated milkers, automated ad egg thingies, making cakes and stuff like that. So it should be all automated. <coughs> it is all possible in this mod pack. So do we have... We got 10... So we can get one out here and nine out here. Perfect. Let's pick up that one. Uh, I'm going to start making a habit out of emptying the furnace out. Because, you know, there's so many different materials that just smelt together. I don't want that to happen. It's just going to create ang melon. Ang damn melon. Mm. Um, I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to keep emptying it out. If I need to combine a few, yeah, too bad, and I need to re-smell it and waste mm. some lava, but that's okay. I have a lot now. Why did I put iron in there? Genius. So, here we got the igneous, igneous extruder and the pickaxe. So, where do we put the igneous extruder for now? We'll put it here. Does it need to be powered? I'm not sure if we did. We did no, we didn't power it in... So, but I think in this one it needs to be powered, does it? Uh, enable low, configuration, that's the output, information, mixes water and lava to make different types of igneous rock. Here we can make cobblestone, clean stone, or obsidian. So we gotta select obsidian, and for that we do, mm. let's see, tutorial. The redstone control, configuration tab, okay, that's mm. the standard one. I think we just need to put in lava, it's running off the lava. And then, do I need to put in a diamond pickaxe somewhere? Didn't I need to put in a diamond pickaxe? Did I need to... Hmm, I was almost sure that I had to put in a diamond pickaxe somewhere. This is just the output. <laughs> And here we go. Redstone control. Ignored low high. Control status mm -hmm. enable. Signal required. Okay, yeah, we do need a switch. So let's get a couple buckets of lava and a couple buckets of water and I'll be right back. So there I am again. This went quick. I had to go again before I did it was done before I even could press record. You can see down here in my inventory I have four obsidian already. So right now it's set to cobblestone because then it doesn't eat up the lava. It will produce infinite amounts of cobblestone. It will just keep producing it out of the lava and the water. Kind of like a cobble generator in one block, which is pretty cool. But what we need... Ah, yeah, you can see I was looking up the chalice because of the water source. And I have one bucket of lava left. So check this out now. I want obsidian. Obsidian will eat up the lava. It's one... Um, source block of lava per obsidian. So we're gonna take out the cobblestone. Now, la obsidian is a little slower, but Deidre, stop shooing behind me. <laughs> but there you go. And you see, it will just it it just holds four buckets, which is really annoying. So I mean, it's easier and quicker than using a diamond pick to. I thought I need to put diamond pick in there, but yeah, I was wrong. It's easier and quicker than using a diamond pick. There you go. Four obsidian for four buckets of lava and four buckets of water. 
which is a hassle to get the lava. I had to go down into the mine like twice. So now I have one lava bucket left, but you can just chuck it in there. So there you go. But I think eight obsidian will do. Um, what is he up to? <laughs> Floating around, bad junkie. So let me just check. I wanted to make a chalice because of the water. I didn't want to have an uh, infinite water source in the house. There's other ways to get one. The Emperor's Chalice is an infinite water bucket, kind of like a water bucket in creative mode. But to make one, you need ghast tears and emeralds. And I'm not ready to go to the nether yet because the nether in this mod pack is insane. Absolutely insane. So, but we can start on the, um, what is it called, BC Silicon. Um, add BC Silicon, exactly. We need these chipsets to get the ME system. And in order to get these chipsets, you need to have these lasers and these assembly tables. You need to put redstone and gold in there to get them done. Here we get an advanced crafting table, but to make one of these lasers, you need redstone and diamonds and obsidian. So, let's get this started. Did the quarry spit out any diamonds by any chance? I know I have. No, it didn't. Um, we should, yeah, we have plenty of diamonds. So, let's make ourselves one of these. And put all these back. And one of these. Oh. Oh. Diamond gear. Gold gear. And a gold gear is, is an iron gear. Oh my god. Iron gear is a stone gear. A stone gear is a wood gear. And a wood gear is sticks. <sighs> Alright. Let's get through this process. Um, no. No, 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 not like that. So, um, well, we can use a force gear actually, which skips a step. No, nah, it doesn't really. Okay, get one of these. Boom. Then let's go through this quickly. Um, yep, oh, we went too far. So, stone gear. Yep, get a stone gear. Turn this into a. Gold gear, it's easier to do it manually, I think. No, ah, I need to turn it into iron gear first. Nah. I, I'm glad I have all this material on me. Oh, the music is very loud. With the server change, I didn't turn down the music. I apologize if I have to scream. So, I'm gonna put a diamond gear. Jeez. So, and now we can make one of these. Good. I think I need to power that puppy though. Where do we put this? We still have a lot of space. We're gonna. Don't worry. We're gonna clean all this up because this is gonna be. Um, I'm gonna move the 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 the, the, the furnace or the forge downstairs, and I'm gonna do all the machines upstairs uh, because this is gonna be like a bar, and we're gonna have a brewery as well. But first things first. Yeah, first things first. But so we have these things. I never used them, so I'm gonna put this one there. And then we need a laser there. I think I need to power the laser. Yes, it needs MJs. What makes MJs? Mm. What makes MJs? Oops. Um, does a wind turbine make MJs? Wind. Wind, wind, wind. It makes RF. Wow, look mm. at all the other wind stuff here. Wind sword. Unstable ingot, windy, yeah, 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 whatever. Um, what makes MJs? I can maybe just a force engine. I can just stick one of my force engines on it. That might actually work. And then I have this crafting thingy here. I put golds and redstone in there and select mm. the chipset that I want. I think that's the one I want. So ME. So, um, uh, applied energetics, I think it's called. Yes, I want to make the all the ME stuff here, the terminals and so on. We're going to start mm. with the ME controller. And, oh, what the heck? 
No, we didn't want to start with the controller, did we? The access terminal. So yeah, here I need those ones. Redstone diamond chipset. No. Ah, okay. I need to make one of these. So one of these redstone diamond chipsets. Um, let's see if I can power. And I need to put a chest on top as well. Mm -hmm. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. Still learning this. It's still a learning cur curve for me. Um, so. Mm -hmm. And I need to put a chest on this one, I think. Yeah, like this. See if my force engine downstairs. There's still a force end milk in it. My force wrench still has some juice in it, too. So I can pick up the... That's a good thing. If you would destroy the fourth engine, you would lose the force that's in it. But if I wrench it with my little shrink wrench, uh, it will keep the force alive. The force and milk. Which is good. You can just chuck it on and move it and use it somewhere else. So. Let's see if this is going to work. I certainly hope it's going to work. Otherwise, we got to figure it out to next time. So, we're going to put this one on there. Shring! Uh, destroy the torch and move it there. And put this one on there. Yes, it still has some juice in it. Yes, it's working! I'm going to get fourth power. Perfect! Perfect, perfect, perfect. And that one should make me... four. Wow, look, it needs to build up big time. But it builds up pretty fast, actually. Four, five hundred, no, six hundred, six hundred, it's, yeah, a thousand. Oh, wow, that's going to take a while. And I need to make those ones. Oh, my God, it's going to run out of juice before it's done. Uh, it is actually keeping the juice flowing qu quite well. Oh, yeah, it's building up the power all the way to the top. Yes, we're at full capacity. <coughs> And wow, apparently if I put more lasers around this assembly table, it will work faster. But yeah, we'll leave it with that. We're going to leave that run out. Um, by next time, that should be done. I'm going to chuck in the other recipes I need. And then we'll put out a self an ME system together and we can get rid of this stupid clunky chest system. Oh, I almost forgot to close the door and fell into my own hole. I'm also going to move the quarry to a s different spot so it can run again. So I'll do that off cam though. So thank you for watching. And as usual, have a nice day. Hey.